Burglars, ballers, dead, redemption, scholars, fathers, dead, with kids and I wish I was fed, forgiveness, yeah, 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 soldiers, DNA, born. back love bugs i hope you all are having a fabulous week so fabulous fabulous week so far um today i am going to be showing you how i got super tight curly curls all over my new short hair yes i did cut my hair i cut about five inches off so yeah big change but you know Sometimes a girl needs a little change in her life, so that's what I did, and I um, am also going to include a little tutorial on how to do a half up, half down look with like some little framing pieces in the front, so if you guys want to see how I did this, please keep on watching and I hope you enjoy. So before I get started recording the rest of this tutorial, I wanted to make a quick disclaimer. So I use, the heat protectant that I use is by Tresemme, and it's the Expert with Marula Oil Keratin Smooth. Um, I really do like it. The only complaint I have is that the past two bottles that I've bought, the spray thing only works for like two different sprays, and then it just starts shooting out the product, like not as a mist, but just like as a, you know, it just... It does, it's really hard to apply to your hair. So what I did, I don't have a separate spray bottle. So what I did is I rinsed out the rest of this spray bottle. And then I poured this product into here. So if you guys see me using this, this is my heat protectant. It is not, shh. I always forget to turn off my volume. Um, if you guys see me using this, this is this product, not this actual product. I just used a different bottle to put it in. So if you do get this and you have the same problem that I do, you can just go ahead and put it in a separate spray bottle. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to start, I'm going to find a brush. and I'm just going to brush all of my tangles out because, you know, having thick hair, I always get those nasty little ratty nest tangles and you're just going to want to make sure your entire um, head is smooth because you don't want to have any you know kinky curls <clears throat> when um, you're curling it so just brush through and make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay, so after I'm done with that, I'm going to start parting my hair, and I start the first part right behind my ears and just make sure it's even enough, and I just tie my hair up, the rest of my hair up with an elastic to keep it out of my way. And I'm going to bring those two pieces to the front and spray an even coat of heat protectant all over that hair. Make sure I get it all over into the ends. And once I'm done spraying the heat protectant, I like to brush it all through nice and even and just to double check and make sure that that hair is nice and smooth so we can begin curling. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to start curling. I'm using, I don't know what kind of iron this is, my mom got it forever ago. But before I started, I decided to try three different methods of curling. This first one is using the curling iron as a wand, where I just simply wrapped a small piece of hair around the curling wand and then released it. This method will give you more beach waves, which wasn't really what I was looking for, so I try a different method coming up here soon. And you'll see me do this throughout the video. Um, I'm holding the curl to keep its definition so it doesn't get too loose, but as I said, I don't really like the look out of that. It's just a little bit too loose for me. So the next method I'm using is I'm lifting up the clamp, putting it around the barrel like I would with a curling iron, and then closing that clamp to keep the hair in place. And this did help me get a little bit more of the curl that I was looking for, but it wasn't quite what I wanted, and also I knew my hand would get tired if I had to hold it up like this the entire time. You see me hold it for a couple seconds, wait for it to cool, try to hold its shape. Because my hair is super thick, so it doesn't curl that easily, so I definitely need to take this extra precaution to do it. So I'm using this hairspray. Um, it's by Pantene, and it's the Air Spray. I love it because it's alcohol-free, so it doesn't dry out your hair, and it still creates a nice, even hold without getting that super crusty 
texture. So going on to this next piece, which is th this curling method is the one I'll use throughout. So I clamp the bottom here and then I twist up and hold it at the very top of my head and I make sure I'm twisting it nice and tight so it gets a nice tight curl and it's not too loose and it curls evenly. And this right here is the method that I'll use on the rest of my head. So I'm just grabbing another section here. And this does take a little bit of time, so just try to take your time, get the smallest sections that you can. And I'm here I'm trying to show you kind of the difference between the curls, but again I'm just starting on the end, clamping it down, and curling up, keeping it nice and tight, all the way up to my scalp. Okay, so now I'm just starting on the other side, again clamping that down and holding it nice and tight towards my scalp. And sometimes I feel the hair on the barrel to see if it's getting super hot. Um, I like to keep it in there for about 5 to 10 seconds depending on how big the piece was that I curled. And then going into the next section, and now I'm hold, I'm curling these alternating. So the clamp is now facing me, curling backwards like this away from my face. And what this does is it keeps all the curls from going in the same direction and holding together, so it gives you a more natural look. So to curl away from your face, make sure the clamp is facing you, and then curl away. And to curl towards your face, the clamp is facing away from you, and you curl inward. Okay, so I'm done with my bottom half. That's kind of the finished look. I'll go back in and fix some of those loose curls. The next section that I get is I'm just going to untie my hair here. And that's going to be right where my temples are. So I separate it right up where my temples are. Make sure that hair is nice and even in the part in the back. And then I tie the rest of my hair out of the way. And now I'm just going to get started on this next section. Curling smaller pieces, getting that hair protectant everywhere first, brushing it out, making sure it's nice and smooth. And now I'm starting on the other side, starting to curl away from my face, and then that next curl, I curl towards my face. Now I'm just making sure to get those pieces in the back, nice and tight, close to my head. And I had to put my glasses on because I couldn't really see the back that well when I was looking in the mirror. But I'm just brushing through these, um, just to kind of loosen them up, keep them not as like surely temple-y. And then now I'm going into the next section of hair. And I start this right above my eyebrows. And then I tie that the rest of that hair out of the way. And um, now I'm just going to spray it with heat protectant, brush it through again, make sure I get that heat protectant on, my, on the tips of my hair as well. And this was too big of a section, it was just too thick, so I separated it out again to thin out that hair in that section. And I just twisted it around my little top knot and bobby pinned it in place. 
Now I'm starting on that other side, making sure I still am alternating the direction of those curls. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm running my fingers through again just to kind of make sure those aren't too stuck together. And now I'm going back in and curling, recurling um, any pieces that kind of fell and hairspraying the rest of it just to keep it all in place while I'm finishing up. And you might have to recurl one or two times. Um, as I said, this is a process if you want it to, you know, get your desired look, but it does depend on your hair type. If you have really thick hair, this will take you a pretty good amount of time. Now I just hairsprayed that to keep it in place. And now here's my, um, I'm doing the back now. And this was that section that I bobby pinned up earlier. Now I'm just recurling just a little bit more to keep that volume. And now I'm gonna go in and do that last section, which is that top knot on the top of my head. And I'm gonna spray this with heat protectant, brush it all through as per usual. And then I like to make this a middle part just because it makes it easier to curl. Now I'm going into the other side, and I like to curl these front pieces away from my face usually. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to spray some hairspray in there, make sure some of the curls are separated and not too, you know, closed off together. Okay, so once you look a little frizzy, curly nice and fun um you can honestly leave the style like this and kind of flip and play with your part recurl any that needs to be recurled but i wanted to do a half up half down look today so i'm gonna go ahead and show you how i do that first of all um you can use a small rubber elastic but i prefer to use the big ponytails that have like the cotton cover and thread covering over them because it's less damaging to your hair especially when it's curly like this it can get tangled and caught and like a rubber band really easily so i'm gonna go ahead and use that and first what i do is i part kind of the front of my hair into a middle part it doesn't have to be perfect because this hairdo i do like to make look a little bit more messy okay and then once I'm done doing that I take these two little pieces in the front pull them down and separate them from what I'm gonna be putting up and then I take a little less than half of my the top of my hair and very gently because I don't want to get rid of those curls but I just take it 
and I this happened in at least two of my videos um I take it put it in a loose pony like so and then what I like to do is kind of scrunch it up a little bit and pull on the front and on the sides to give it just a little bit more volume and then once I'm done doing that I kind of bring those curls to the front <coughs> oops and now what I'm going to do is kind of separate these little front pieces, get them kind of where I want them, how I want them to look. And then, you know, I feel like I want a little bit more volume and curl on the top of my head up here. So what I'm going to do is I'll speed it up for you. But um, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to recurl some of this on the top so it looks a little bit more voluminous and my whole head kind of has these big, um, super curly tight curls. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Take your time playing with it, getting it where you kind of want it. Um, now that I look at it, I just don't think I want to do the half up half down today, but this is still really cute. I would still wear this um, another day, but just not today because I'm not really feeling it. I kind of want it all down. So um, if you want the half up half down look, do what I told you with the ponytail up here and spread it out a little bit make it nice and messy or you could even do like a little half up half down top knot with it um and then just kind of recurl some of the stuff that you maybe missed or you want more volume with and um just kind of go through and do that but if you want to let it all down um if you can pull off a middle part I say go for it I just don't really like my hair with the middle part I like a more exaggerated side part so what I'll do is I'll flip this hair all over here as you can see that just gave me a ton of volume kind of replace some of these pieces and then just kind of play with it until I get what I like and yeah I'm gonna give it the trick to getting curls like these to stay you probably saw me do it a couple times but get your hairspray scrunch up your hair like this and you can use mousse on this too but I just find the hairspray to be a little bit easier and you just spritz it and you go into the top of your fingers spritz and spritz and get it a little bit from the bottom too so scrunch and spritz scrunch and spritz kind of like the bend and snap so yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want to see any other short hairstyles, um, I can do braids. I can do like top knots, low buns, um, different kinds of curls. Like maybe you want to do like a beach wave or something. I can definitely do tutorials on those. So yeah, so yeah, if you like this look, um, I hope you did. You can go ahead and share some love. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And I will see you guys either another time this weekend if I feel like recording again. Or I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>